Welcome in everybody. We have another evolution video for you today. It is officially Indigo Disc DLC time. I'm going to be showing you where you can find your own Beldum so you can get your own Metagross in game. Um, we are currently in the polar biome. If we zoom out here a little bit, here's the central plaza. It's a little ways north, this big island right here. On the southern entrance, there is a cave. The only thing I've seen in this cave, well, up until now, was Beldums. There's Matang if you want to skip the first evolution, but here you can find your very own Beldum. I don't know if this is the only cave that it can spawn, but this is where I've had the most consistent spawns of it so far. Um, so we'll go ahead and quick ball this. Hopefully it catches it. It did not. I had troubles when I caught my Beldum in here. Because it's a steel type and false swipe isn't the most effective, we're not gonna run away and run into it again. And just keep using quick balls. Quick ball again, level 72 Beldum. It still broke out. Beldum does have a lower catch rate um, than base Pokemon because it's along the pseudo legendary line. Um, they do have a lower catch rate usually. We'll try this third quick ball. If it doesn't work, then we'll do it the old fashioned way. So let's quick ball it. Nope, we gotta do it the old fashioned way. All right then. So good thing we have false swipe. As I said, not very effective. It'll take a few to weaken it down. We'll false swipe again. You can also save time if you have Beldum and Pokemon Home. The Pokemon Home update should be live by the time you're seeing this. You can just move your Pokemon over into the game and evolve it that way. It'll be the same levels and everything, but first let us catch this Beldum. A little Hypnosis and put it to sleep. Perfect. And now ideally it stays in the Pokeball. We're going to put it in a Dusk Ball because we're in the cave. And I really like Dusk Balls. Dusk Balls are probably my second favorite behind the Quick Ball. We did not catch it. And this is a weird camera angle. All right, we'll try another Dusk Ball. If this doesn't work, we'll weaken it the last little bit to get it to one health. With False Swipe. Did not catch it. So fast asleep, we'll False Swipe it this time and it'll probably wake up and we'll have to put it back asleep. But that's fine. Hopefully you have better luck with... Yep, called that. Hopefully you have better luck with your Quick Ball. Gallade avoided that. Good job, Gallade. Hypnosis again. Perfect. It's back asleep and we will Dusk Ball. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so Beldum's not the only spawn in here. As we saw the Metang, there was a Snubble. Um, so, you know, Beldum is just at least consistently here. It woke up again. This Beldum is going to be difficult. If you still watch this far, I'll put timestamps down below so you can jump to the actual evolutions. Um, but Beldum is proving to be difficult to catch. And I'd rather catch another one so that I can have the evolution line. I don't know if Metagross will spawn wild. You can probably get it from a raid. Um, but we're going to do it this way. Okay, it's asleep. Let's try, instead of a Dusk Ball, let's just do an Ultra Ball. It's not shiny. I'm not worried about putting it in a it woke up again. I'm not worried about putting it in a special ball. I think instead of sleep, we're going to go the Thunder Wave route. Because then I don't have to keep doing it. I can just keep throwing Pokeballs. We'll try the Thunder Wave route. Because this is making this video longer than it needs to be. So did not catch it. Because it shouldn't need to shake unless they fix that in the patch. Um, it should just shake the the immediate time that we catch it. 
like that. Now we have the Beldum. So now that we have a Beldum, and it'll be in our party, we can actually perform the evolution of Snubble and Metang. So Beldum has been added to our party. We're going to go right here in the cave entrance. Um, just so we have some, some more space for the evolution. Um, so the first evolution for Beldum, ours is way high because the DLC is post-game. It's level 72. You actually only need level 20. So if you have Beldum in a different game and you're trying to evolve it, level 20 is all you need. Do it with a candy or via battle. Auto battles will not evolve it. Here is Beldum evolving. And there you have it. Beldum has evolved into Metang. It'll be registered in my Pokedex because I've not found it or caught it yet. There was one there, um, but I did not perform the evolution myself. Learned Metal Claw and Confusion. So we do have Metang now, level 73. Uh, Metang's pretty cool, but doesn't compare to Metagross. Which, for Metagross, you actually need level 45. Um, so nothing crazy, but again, with the DLC being post-game, we're well beyond that. We'll just level it up one more time to level 74. And then Metang learned Hyper Beam and we'll be evolving. And there you have it. Metang has evolved into Metagross. That is how you can get your own Metagross in-game. You can find Beldum over here in the polar biome, in this cave, and then level 20 will get you Metang, and level 45 will get you the Metagross. Metagross, fantastic Pokemon. I can't wait to shiny hunt it. I have one at home, but I'm going to shiny hunt it again anyway. Here is your Metagross. Again, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We'll be covering a lot more evolutions, a lot of tips and tricks coming with the Indigo Disc. So make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell to turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.